So the year is 2022. We've all been working from home now for maybe at least two years, and everyone and their dog seems to have a podcast now, especially on TikTok. Not us though, apparently. Nick doesn't want to do one. But let us know in the comments if you want the Technovo podcast to come back. Really, the point is I'm making here, we need to stay connected with friends, colleagues, and clients alike. And the best way to do that is to buy yourself a webcam, like the new Creative Live Cam Sync V3. It's Creative's new webcam on the market, and we're going to be putting it through its paces today. So a little bit about the webcam itself. The main unit here measures at around 8.2 by 5.3 by 5.8 centimeters, and has a retractable base that can hook over the back of a monitor, or it has a tripod mount on the bottom if needed, as you can see here. The webcam stand also has a 360 degree horizontal rotation and 30 degree tilt, so you can easily move yourself into frame. The webcam is able to produce an image resolution of 2560 by 1440 thanks to its CMOS QHX 5 megapixel sensor. Now it can only produce a 30 frame per second image and you can drop down the resolutions if need be if you need the extra bandwidth, though its frames per second limit is the same across the board. It has two built-in microphones known as their omnidirectional digital MEMS microphone array but don't really get your hopes up. They'll get you through a Zoom call with your colleagues but they're not really the best sound microphones out there. Being a webcam though, I can safely say that even though this camera has built-in dual microphones, the audio quality isn't really the best. Now for testing, I did have my webcam on top of my monitor, maybe about an arm's length away, and it did produce a somewhat tinny experience, though it is a very passable sound for taking meetings with clients or colleagues if you're still working from home. There wasn't really much bass to my voice, but to be fair, I have heard a lot worse from webcam setups coming from laptops from my colleagues myself. But take a listen for yourself. So this is a quick example of what the built-in dual microphones are going to sound like on the Creative Live Cam Sync V3 because after all there are so many people still working from home and I think this is really the main reason people will be using this webcam to talk to clients and colleagues on things like Teams and Zoom and Skype and that kind of thing. What is impressive, as you've just seen from the example there, is the 95 degree field of view, which allows the webcam here to live on top of my monitor and still give me enough room to get my forehead, my shoulders, and even my torso in frame. There is a generous 1.8 meter cable that uses a 2.0 USB connection to connect to your PC, which was more than enough for me to connect the camera from my monitor to my PC that sits on my desk. Creative is also offering two smart features with their live cam sync V3. The first is voice detect, which is a voice detection mode that aims to keep your background noise muted when you're not speaking, so you can get on with tasks in the background. The second is called noise clean out, which aims to mute background noise while you're talking. So think for example if someone is vacuuming behind you or in the house while you're talking. It should cancel that sound. Now check out how I got on with this example. So diving into the Creative Live Cam Sync V3 software, you can see that we've got this smart comms kit just here. So if I go into that, then there is an advanced tab that you can click. Now let's start with everything switched off completely. You can probably hear my PC fans because I've just finished playing a game of Hunt Showdown, so they are, they have kicked in a little bit, so just take a listen. OBS is showing up that yes, it is picking up the computer fans. But what I can do is I can turn on this option here called Noise Clean Out. So if I click this option here now, You can actually hear, and I can see on my equalizer on OBS, that it just completely cuts out all of the noise in the background when I'm not speaking. And you can clearly hear it now. The equalizer is going up and down now because I'm speaking, but when I stop speaking, it just shuts everything off. Now there is an auto detect on there, but you can turn that off and you can turn it to low or high and you can choose yourself how sensitive you want that noise clean out to be. So to give this an ultimate test on the noise clean out, I thought I'd grab my vacuum cleaner just to see the kind of audio quality that you're going to expect from the creative webcam once this is running in the background and the noise clean out is switched on. I will turn on the auto adjust 
uh, at first and then I will go on to the manual mode and then I will show you low and high sensitivities as well. So let me just put this into the background. So as you can see, vacuum cleaner is turned on. This is the kind of sound that you will get if someone is vacuuming in the same room as you behind you while you're on a conference call. And now I've turned on noise cleaner. Now it's currently set to a high sensitivity and this is the quality that you want to be getting. And then bringing it down to a low sensitivity on the noise clean out, just to give you an example of the type of audio that you can expect. And now this is auto adjust again, just to show you an example of what you can expect from the Creative Live Cam 6B3. If someone's vacuum cleaning in the same room as you when you're doing a conference call with clients or your colleagues. Now, as you probably heard from the example, the noise cleanout is great for low hums from a PC or laptop fan, blocking out vibrations from your phone that's on silent during meetings or even traffic that's outside. But for louder noises like a vacuum cleaner, no shot. Now, of course, I took the example to the extreme here as I had the vacuum cleaner in the same room as me, but it's not really something I would recommend if someone was vacuuming in the house. Just tell them to stop. Now, what I think though, to really get the best out of the Creative Live Cam Sync V3 is pairing it with a microphone setup similar to mine here, either with a dynamic microphone or some kind of condenser like a Blue Yeti. If you do that, you've got a pretty decent at-home podcast setup or even a webcam that could produce a wonderful 1440p image quality for live streaming. Now, okay, it's not going to be as sharp as using a DSLR camera with a capture card or maybe even a modern mobile phone, but if you're just getting started, it's way more than enough and probably one of the better webcams that we've come across, minus, of course, that new Insta360 webcam that's floating around YouTube at the moment. Check out my examples. And yes, I know that this is a completely unfair test because I am now using my Rode Procaster with a Go XLR on the desk, but I'm pairing it with the Creative Live Cam Sync V3. So I just wanted to give you an example of the type of audio that you could pair this webcam with so you could start creating your at home podcasts or even start creating videos for YouTube as well. As with the majority of our webcam and microphone videos now, we're playing again some Vermintide 2. It's become a bit of a tradition on this channel at this point. And it's just to really give you an example of what you can expect from the Creative Live Cam Sync 3 when you're using it to live stream on Twitch or YouTube or similar platforms. It's got a really nice wide viewing angle on the actual webcam itself as well, so everything's in shot if you are having the webcam like I am based on your monitor itself. And overall, it's just a decent experience. It's creating a very, very nice image quality as well. And uh, a nice, decent quality for a live stream. The Creative Live Cam Sync V3 is a decent webcam. I can't really pick out any isolated shortcomings that aren't really present on competitor cameras. Yes, the audio quality is a bit naff, but show me a webcam that can produce production quality levels of audio. You can't. Image quality is great though and is absolutely top tier when it comes to using it for your Zoom or Teams meetings. Now the inbuilt noise background noise isolation feature thing, again, I wouldn't suggest using it. It muffles your voice just a bit too much for my liking. But if you're in a silent room, I really can't see your colleagues or friends kicking off at you for using this camera for a meeting. Now it does cost around £69.99 here in the UK, which yes, is a little bit steep, but compared to something like the Insta360 webcam that's being touted at the moment at £320, the price Creative has set doesn't sound too bad at all. It's a decent camera for meetings, and if you're getting started with a podcast or live stream. Thank you very much for checking out our video review of the Creative Live Cam Sync V3. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit that like button, subscribe to keep up with our latest tech and gaming videos, and also let us know in the comments down below if you would go for this webcam. Did you enjoy our examples? Would you like it for your Zoom and Teams meetings with colleagues and friends? Let us know in the comments below. As I say, thanks very much for watching, and we will see you in the next video.